Anvil Airsoft TV in association with TaiwanGun.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at and range testing the Lee Enfield No. 1 Mark III Star from ST. This is a replica of one of the most iconic service rifles from the early 20th century. Keep watching, find out more about it, how it performs, and just how far it can shoot. TaiwanGun.com sent me this Lee Enfield number one Mark III Star to review for their channel. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. The replica itself. One low cap metal magazine, more on that later. Small manual and TaiwanGun.com test a certificate. Weighing in around four kilos, the replica is made mostly from alloy die castings, real wood, and some steel parts. The alloy and aluminium parts include the front cap, the outer barrel, stacking swivel, barrel band, sling swivels the rear sight, the receiver, charging bridge, bolt handle, trigger guard, magazine, and the butt pad. The steel parts include the rear sight protector, the cylinder, and parts of the trigger box. The furniture is all real wood. The SMLE was developed from the longer magazine Lee Enfield. Adopted in 1904, it replaced both the long infantry rifle and a shorter cavalry carbine with one unified service weapon. This particular SMLE is a replica of a Mark III Star. This was the wartime expedient version of the Mark III introduced midway through World War I in order to speed up production. Items such as the magazine cutoff, wind adjustment and the volley sights were deleted partly as rangers in the trenches were much less than the rifle was originally designed for. It also allowed more rifles to be produced. The SMLA Mark III Star continued in use through the interwar period. It was in service during the early stages of World War II, though renamed as the Rifle No. 1 Mark III Star, and remained in use especially in the Far East and with some Commonwealth countries throughout the rest of the conflict. The SMLA is still being used to this date in some less developed parts of the world and still with sports shooters. It's a very long lived design that has absolutely stood up to the test of time. So let's have a look at the features of the Lee Enfield. We'll go tip to butt as usual. The wood furniture is really nicely made and adds greatly to the feel of using the replica. The metal parts have been finished in a way that nicely simulates blued steel. Overall, a great deal of thought and care has gone into the manufacturing and design. Right at the front, we have the muzzle. As is in keeping with the replica, there's no provision for attaching muzzle devices. Below the muzzle, we have the mounts for a bayonet and also the stacking swivel. This allowed soldiers to rest their rifles together upright and keep them out of the mud and dirt. The front sight is protected by these wings. It is fixed, so any adjustments need to be made at the rear sight. Attached to the barrel band is the front sling swivel. Next, we come to the rear sight. It's adjustable for elevation in two ways. On the left is a gross adjustment. Push in this button and slide. For a finer adjustment, you can turn this dial. Down for more elevation and up for less. On the right hand side of the rifle is the hop adjustment. To decrease hop, I'll slide the adjuster towards the muzzle of the rifle. To increase, slide towards the rear. The receiver is full of lovely features to make the SMLE look more realistic. Included are trademarks, proof marks, and a serial number. The bolt itself, as a light pull 
and a short throw. To ensure a good operation, the bolt should be used positively and to its full extent. Lift the bolt handle up and back until you hear and feel the sear engage. Return the bolt forward and then down to finish. The replica won't fire unless the bolt is fully forward and in battery. s and have included a moving bolt head and a charger bridge. The real SMLE was loaded from two five round stripper clips for a total of 10 rather than changing the magazine. The thumb relief in the receiver for pushing in the rounds is also modelled. At the rear of the receiver is a safety catch and a cocking piece. The safety catch is active when it's towards the rear to set the SMLE on fire, rotate the safety forward. The cocking piece indicates when the replica is ready to fire. Just like the really Enfield, the cocking piece can be reset. This has no function on the ST replica. However, it's a great feature and adds to the immersion when using the rifle. The trigger and magazine release are inside the large guard. The trigger has a little take up and then breaks quite cleanly. The magazine is released by pressing up and removing it. To replace the magazine, insert back into the well and press up until you hear it click. The magazine is an alloy load cap that can hold up to 36 BBs. However, we recommend that you put no more than 30 in at one time. This relieves the pressure on the springs and makes for more reliable loading. This is seven or eight pumps on a standard speed loader. The magazine is loaded from the front. Unlike many airsoft bolt action rifles, the SNT SMLE loads from the magazine and not from a hidden unit further forward. The stock is nicely contoured, as is the rest of the wood on the SMLE, and has a rear sling swivel. Finally, we have a brass coloured butt pad with a trap door that in the real rifle would house the cleaning kit and oil bottle. So now we've talked all about the features of the SNT Lee Enfield number one Mark III Star. Let's take it to the range and see how it performs. Welcome back to Thurliston Air Gun and Archery Centre, where we're going to range test the SMLE from s and To do that, we can use these electronic attack sense targets that flash when they're struck by a BB, so you know and I know when I've hit the target. For our effective range test, we're looking at landing five out of ten shots onto a torso-sized target. Luckily, these targets are torso-sized, and that will tell us at what range the SMLE is effective. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start our max range test. Spotter Joe's going down range. She's going to look at the fall of shot and we're going to work out what the most efficient BB to use in the SMLE is. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so with a 0.28 gram BB, max range is 55 meters. Let's just do a quick chrono. So we're averaging about 300 FPS, about 1.17 joules. So next we're gonna try a BLS 0.3 gram BB. See how we get on with that. Okay, so with a 0.3, we've got about another five meters, 58 to 60 meters. And we'll just do a quick chrono and see how that's affected the power. 247. 245. 
0.32 gram BLS precision BB and we'll see what it takes this time. Not shooting at the spotter but about her chest level, torso level, like you would be in a game and that gives us our maximum range. So I'm not using an airsoft mortar or a whole load of holdover. Okay, so with a 0.32 gram BB, we've got about 54, 56 meters. So it looks like for the S&T SMLE out the box, the 0.3 gram BLS BB is the one to go for. Okay, right, we're ready. So first target, 30 meters. Okay, well, it's absolutely effective at 30 meters. We'll move on to 40. One thing I really like about the ST, it's got a really short bolt throw, as opposed to some airsoft spring snipers, which have a really long bolt throw. It's a really short bolt throw, and it feels very mechanical. Um, and it sounds quite a lot like my Diac number four as well. So short bolt throw, it sounds like there's lugs engaging and disengaging. So it doesn't sound like, a, like you're stretching a spring. So let's move on to 40 meters. So it is effective at 40 meters, though you might have to work quite hard with the sights because you've got these old leaf sights rather than an aperture sight. Quite hard to make shots because you're having to work the bolt. You slightly break your sight picture every time and you have to rebuild it and find your holdover again for the next follow-up shot. With modern optics, if red dot or magnified optic with an AEG, even a gas blowback, you can come back onto your point of aim really really simply so the difference that modern optics have made to shooting is quite remarkable one of the things with shooting a rifle like this is use a front sight focus so when you actually let your shot go you're focusing on the front sight which means your target itself is slightly blurry it makes it quite hard to see your your fall of shot tipped with a bb little white thing so it is effective at 40 meters you might have to work quite hard for it however in my mind for an experienced player like me that's a good thing it's nice to have a challenge and it's nice to have to work at something rather than just pumping out shots one after one and making hits super easy so actually i really like having to work this gun and because it's got a mechanical trigger you have to be careful with your trigger pull make sure you're not pulling it off line as well so there's a lot to be said for using a rifle like this to improve your marksmanship okay right gonna go for 50 which might be a bit of a push with my old eyes and these iron sights, but we'll have a go. I've definitely hit it, 
So let's see how we get on. Ah, oh, I love this bolt throw. It is a pretty accurate rifle. It is just spotting full shot. Okay, so I can hit the 50 metre target, but it's very inconsistent. So I think we're pretty happily saying with the 0.3 gram BLS BB, the maximum range, the s and SMLE is 60 metres, and the effective range is 40 metres. Really good, fun gun to use, challenging. It will improve your shooting and marksmanship skills. So let's move on to another test. Okay, so for the next part of our test, we're gonna do a classic British SMLE Mad Minute. So that's as many aimed shots as I can get off in one minute. We're gonna use our 30 meter target. The shots won't count unless I hit the target. So it's a challenge for you guys. How many shots can you get onto an A3 or torso size target with your SMLE at 30 meters? And then let us know in the comments. So we're gonna use the classic middle finger technique for this. So we grip the bolt with these two fingers and we pull the trigger with this finger. All right, so we'll get one ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Wind's picked up. I don't know where that was, we'll have to look back at the footage and we'll put it down below. So for our last range test today, we're going to do a 20 meter 10 shot group accuracy test. The SMLE using the BLS 0.3 gram BB. So this is the 10 shot group. We got out of the SMLE at 20 meters with the 0.3 gram BBs. And center to center, we're looking at 150 mil. So 
it at 0.3. I hope you enjoyed this review and overview of the S&T Lee Enfield No. 1 Mark III Star. We think it's a great replica of the famous British service rifle, perfect for anyone wanting to do a World War I or early World War II loadout. What's more, SMLEs have seen use right up to the present day in a regular combat, making it a very versatile rifle for the OB4 player. If you want to see more from me, you can check out my other reviews on the TaiwanGun.com YouTube channel, or you can head over to Anvil Airsoft TV. There you'll find well over 200 videos on a huge range of subjects. Thanks to TaiwanGun.com for making this review possible. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.